This is an article that came out October 31st, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe they get sunburnt on the ski slopes? On the ski slopes! This came out in the Science Daily, and I will post a link to this article in the description box. Now let's get into protect your eyes while on the slopes, scientists warn. Now here we go. Snow fanatics are no doubt aware of the risk of getting sunburnt on the slopes, but a new study shows that it is more than a red face that skiers and snowboarders should be concerned about. Ladies and gentlemen, they even get sunburned eyeballs on the ski slopes. God damn it. <laughs> The study published by scientists from the Department of Eye and Vision Science at the University of Liverpool shows that people may not be taking as good care of their face and eyes as they should. Now, why aren't you high IQ people doing that? Damn. Now, let's move on with potentially devastating results. They asked participants to apply sunscreen to their face before and after photos were taken with a UV sensitive camera. With areas covered with sunscreen appearing black. Now if you see the photos up here, this is them without sunscreen and these photos, I guess the last one is a full application of sunscreen. <laughs> Wait, didn't they say black skin was cursed, but apparently going in black face does somewhat help them? <laughs> they got a look. They got to make themselves look black to the sun in order to keep themselves from getting burnt. But they said our skin is a curse. <laughs> How can skin that can handle the sun be a curse? Give me a break. Okay. Analysis show that on average, people missed 9.5% of their faces with the most commonly missed areas being the eyelids and the areas between the inner corner of the eye and the bridge of the nose. Even when extra information about skin cancers of the eyelid, which I showed you in my videos, 7.7% .7 of participant faces were left unprotected. So it, this tells me the average caucasoid does not know how to properly apply sunscreen. Not that it's helping because we know over 80% of the sunscreens on the shelves don't even work. Okay. As more than 90% of basal cell cancinomas occur on the head and neck, and five to 10% of all skin cancers occur on the eyelids. You know, I worked with a few caucasoids that had it on their eyelids, but I didn't know at the time what I was looking at. But now when I think back, that was skin cancer on their eyelids. This is worrying news. Oh yeah, it really is. And should be of particular concern to people taking to the slopes this winter. So I don't care if it's 20 degrees or 10 degrees, you are still going to get burnt on the slopes. Damn! <laughs> the dangers of UV exposure as more than 90% of basal 
cell cancinomas occur on the forehead. Now, I did read that part, so I'm going to skip down a little bit. Many people will already be aware of the, com of, of the combined threat to their skin of higher altitude and snow glare. Damn, you got to worry about snow glare and because you're at a higher elevation and the sun reflecting back onto the skin. Boy, I tell you, you just ain't safe nowhere. The sun is going to kick your butt no matter where you are. Indoors, outdoors, it don't matter. It don't matter. But this study shows that many people may not be taking as good care of their eyes and skin as they should. Dr. Kevin Hamill of the University of Liverpool explained, the eyes and skin around them are especially vulnerable to UV radiations and cancers. So skiers and snowboarders who are at risk of high exposure really need to take care and thoroughly applied sunblock of at least SPF 30 is a good start, but it isn't enough. You need to make sure that you take your cream to the slopes and reapply it at regular intervals. <laughs> Boy, these people would kill my trip. Wait a minute, I gotta put more sunscreen on. How long has it been? Oh, it's been about two and a half minutes. I gotta put more sunscreen on. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's about another four minutes. Oh, I gotta put my sunscreen on. You would just kill everybody's vacation. Who would want a vacation with somebody like that? Okay. <laughs> They gotta, they gotta keep applying sunscreen even on the ski slopes the, the whole time they're up there. These people sure know how to kill a vacation. <laughs> you also need to wear goggles or sunglasses. See, this is why I was telling you on my video, sunglasses were made for them. It was never intended for us because their eyes cannot withstand the sun. They sunburn all over, including their eyes, the palms of their hands, the bottom of their feet, everything burns. So when they designed sunglasses, it was to help keep them from getting so much sunburned eyeballs. That's why. But if you just want to look fashionable and kind of stylish, or you think you look cute in sunglasses, just know black people, you don't really need them. But if you want to wear them just because you like the way they look, then you can do that. But you don't need that kind of protection from the sun. Wrap around frames that protect the whole eye area and have 100% UV protection are ideal. Damn it, y'all. They can't go in the neon lights. They can't be outside with the lemon and lime juice. They can't be on the ski slopes. <laughs> they should have never left the caves. That's what this is telling you. They're, they're not safe from the sun no matter where they go. They're not safe from the sun. So they're saying when they apply sunscreen, they got to get the creases around the eye and all that area between the eye and the nose and cover the whole lid. Because if they go up there like this, they are not protected and they're open to getting skin cancer of the eyelid on the ski slopes, on the beach, <laughs> under the neon lights. <laughs> they even get jacked up on the sunbeds. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. mm What are we going to do with these people? See, there's a reason why they were placed up in the cave. You know, I'm not trying to be funny, 
But if your ass is getting all kinds of skin cancer and burning up all over the place, that means you are not in the right climate for your type of skin. Common sense should tell you that. But, you know, I guess they figure if they go back to the cave, how are they going to continue to watch us and obsess over us? Woo, man. Tell me what you think. I love my melanated self, y'all. I love my melanated self. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss my videos. Peace, family.